gonna be a great day. I'm excited, I'm excited for me because I get to hang out with 2,000 people who love Jesus Christ and are not afraid to let the world know it. Let's give it up for Jesus, can we? Mercy, with it on the vine With your feet on the ground and your head in the clouds And your heart on the line Open up your eyes So you guys, our theme for the day is the thirst for happiness. But if you look at some of the posters, you'll see the, the tagline underneath that is, Jesus is saying, blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed means happy. So we could say, happy are the poor in spirit. What the heck does that mean? The poor in spirit are those people that realize they need Jesus Christ. And today's the day you can say, Jesus, I need you, and I want to live for you. I am so happy that you are here. And let us pray. We have gathered 2,000 of us here today to give you honor, glory, and praise. Be with us, guide us, fill our hearts, and keep us safe. Amen. Have a great time. God is good. And all the time. God bless you. Since I'm hanging out with 2,000 cool people that love Jesus, my photo of the day can be a selfie with Caroline and you. Okay, ready? We have an incredible speaker. Her name is Sister Miriam. I was going to read her biography, like all of her accomplishments. But I don't have time for that. Look, I mean, this woman is, she is one groovy nun. Greatness is found wherever someone is trying to find it. And I love that because that is exactly parallel to the spiritual life. Because sanctity is not just found in stained glass windows and cathedrals. It's not just found in statues and churches. Sanctity is found in this room today as we sit here. Because this is the stuff saints are made of. After the sun goes down, your mind keeps on racing. After dreams that don't come round, you don't know how to surrender. So whole life's been a fight. The dark goes to you and you can't break through because you haven't seen the light. Open up your eyes you got to rise up, rise up When this life has got you down you got to look up, look up When you're searching, nothing's found My eyes have seen the glory of love It's here and now it's going down So rise up now Oh, rise up now Yeah, rise up now And all the lands will roll like lions And all the breezes breaking their chains And all the poor will find their treasure Cause heaven is coming this way And all the lands will roll like lions And all the breezes breaking their chains And all the poor will find their treasure Cause heaven is coming this way Rise up, rise up when the yes, we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, grace. the Lord is with thee Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Sancta María, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Well, I should have worn my wristband, but I didn't. So shame on me. What color was it? It was, uh, it was white. Yeah. Here, I got it right here. Is evolution and the Big Bang Theory 100% wrong to believe? No, the church has never said that you can't believe in evolution, but what the church does say is that you have to posit that at a particular moment, God entered into the process and created the world and everything in it. So we can't leave God out of that sense of evolution. Well, again, I think the Holy Spirit is given to us in our baptism. It's reconfirmed in us in confirmation. And every time we receive the Eucharist like we did today at Mass, the Holy Spirit grows within us. And so it's just, again, being attentive to that presence of the Holy Spirit, tapping into his presence, 
um, being affectionate with the Holy Spirit, actually, you know, and allowing him to, to speak to you in, in the silence of your heart. How do you feel about the end of the world, and do you think there will be a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> well, I don't know about the zombie part of it, but... Um, None of us can tell exactly what that's going to be like. I mean, the scriptures give us some indi indication of how cataclysmic the apocalypse will be at the end of time. But, um, you know, I, I, for one, I'm looking forward to it. The end of times, I think it's going to be amazing. There's going to be zombies. There's going to be Tetrasaurus Rexes. There's just going to be, like, all this stuff, and everyone's going to be, like, eating everything, and then Jesus is coming back, and it's going to be amazing. Now, do you agree or disagree with my Argyle sweater? I think it's, like... What do you think? Um. Yeah. yeah! We're gonna have two options. One, keep the sweater, you get to cheer first, and then two will be, get rid of the sweater. Keep the sweater. He's keeping it, he's keeping it. <laughs> rise up, rise up, when this life has got you down, you got We're going to transition into a time of adoration. The source and summit of our Catholic faith, that means where everything comes from in our Catholic faith and where everything is pointing to is the Eucharist. And all the lands will roll like lions, and all the prisoners breaking their chains, and all the poor will find their treasure, cause heaven is coming this way. We'll see you next year. God bless you.